Today's video is brought to you by Coffee, because it's 7 in the morning, with Mr. Eminem. We left off. The man defeated Cerberus. It was fantastic. It was awesome. The fight was cool as shit. Hey, it's our boy. Ah, he's, there were, he's, he's joining the guild. I don't think he knows, is it? Dude, that was a C rank dungeon, or is he lying? I don't remember. Because we had a freaking bye week if the dungeon was C rank, or he's lying to that guy. It's my favorite character the entire show, and she's had no screen time whatsoever. Is she is she the Toji of solo leveling? Toji so far has had more screen time than her though. Mm, interesting. Yoji Construction? Did I, wait, did I say Yoji? Yoshi? Was it Yoshi Construction? Woohoo! Let's go! Oh, is this his dad? This is our young little reckless kid's dad. Interesting. So this, his dad is on the side of understanding that this is corrupt. Ah, okay. These are the top guilds. This episode is definitely a lot of information right now. Getting like a lot of just overall understanding the environment of soul leveling so does his brother actually join him though because i would assume his brother is already part of another guild and he can't really leave unless his brother's on the same side as his father just trying to create a guild that like stops the top percent Ooh, we love rewards what's the new one get the box man get a loot box do the loot box always do the loot box bingo card hilarious Yo, our man is getting up there. Wolf Assassin, level 26? This is where you're feeling pretty good about yourself. You're really tech on anything. Yeah, definitely so far this episode is very uh, chill compared to others. But I said that last time, and then we fought Cerberus. So patience is key. Hey! That'd be interesting to see him do the same uh, raid. That'd be pretty smart, though. That'd be pretty cool. Then he would meet our main character and be like, Oh my god, you grew like 20 years. I will say so far, I feel like this is an episode that we needed, though. If it is to be this low-key. Um, again, just to really build off the world building and to understand the world that they're in. Oh, one of the guilds. This is our boy? It is. He looks hilarious. Yo, his voice actor is top notch, though. So, is that construct? I'm assuming that construction company is what's his face's dad's company. Dude, I totally forgot this character exists. Completely forgot about her. But, like, if we're being honest, as long as this doesn't end up like season one of solo leveling, not solo leveling, season one of Sword Art Online, and if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Because the ending of Sword Art Online was just... Let's just say I hope this keeps to solo leveling. All right, I'm doing a prediction. I'm predicting that some of the people that we just done flashbacks or like present day time uh, moments here are all going to meet for this guild. This d rank guild situation. At least her... Yep, at least her, the sensei, uh, and Jinwoo. So the man has too many rings on his finger. What is his brother? Oof. And the plot thickens. I was pegging him as almost the bad guy. He might not be, necessarily. So, if he's playing as a F rank, but he's level 26, what would he really be? <clears throat> I don't, st I, I don't, I mean, I could honestly look it up, but like, I wasn't really told what level equals what rank. 
I'm assuming he's probably a C rank at this point. Because he's doing C rank dungeons. He's still playing off to be F though. Oh, I love it. They're both doing the raid together. Dude, I love how he said, Dude, were you missing a leg? Yeah, but there was like a high healer that fixed it. And this poor guy still is missing an arm. Wow, that's hilarious. It's literally everyone from the last raid. Or the bad raid. It's the reunion. No one expected. Is it our boy? No. Huh. Interesting. Hey, it's uh, offering uh, Fushi Guru. Hire, hiring criminals to defeat dungeons. Oh, he's coming with, though. Okay. Come on, buddy. You should be. You want Son to lead? Oh, that's a good call. But hey, I understand he wants to get a redemption. We understand what he's going through. We get it. This is re his redemption until he dies in the raid. Sorry, too soon. He might, you know. I don't know. This is sometimes it's just how uh, anime rolls, you know. Just sometimes. Oh, I totally forgot. He saw them in the hospital. Like, not totally forgot, but like. He didn't know what he looked like, so he's going to be very suspicious of this kid. And now, if he's part of the government, and our main character shows off, we're in trouble. Yeah, look at that. Episode 9, you've been hiding your skills. Okay, time to break it down. So, with episode 8, definitely a more chill episode. We kind of felt it coming. Um, we knew that was probably going to happen because we had so many episodes back to back to back that were just so good. Overall, I like this episode because it was kind of a nice break to take a second and world build a little bit because there was so much thrown at us that it was nice to break it down and really kind of get more details on what's going on in the world. Um, especially with the guilds too. We had no idea where the top guilds were till now. So overall, the episode, totally cool. Nothing, no, nothing wrong with it. I, I'm still a little, like, slighted that they did do a bye week for a 7.5 catch-up. I really thought it was way too soon to do a bye week, especially with an episode like this that was, like, super chill. So I really don't understand why they did that, but, hey, they did it. And for whatever reason, hopefully it was a good one. Overall, just gets me more excited for episode 9 because you know that is when some shit is about to go down. Off-brand Fushiguru is suspicious of our main character. We have no idea what that could entail. Worst case scenario, he goes back and tells his superiors that, hey, I think he had a second awakening. Or off-brand Fushiguru gets killed in this dungeon and, Sh and Shung Wu, I'm fucking butchering her in his name, uh, our main character offs somehow because i feel like our main character like has morals but doesn't he's more of a survival or he might not even remember the guy from the hospital and you know off-brand fushiguru might just like die from you know a beast or something or something else just like a coincidence or maybe one of the criminals or something but episode nine definitely seems like the episode that some shit is about to go down very excited guys as always thank you so much for watching big shout out to my patreon members if you do want to join the patreon it is free to join but memberships are included if you want that exclusive content i'll catch you guys next time thank you so much